Hey everybody, I'm from Northeast Bastion. How you doing? Well, when I was in Florida, I ran into <laughs> Bill Alexander. This is uh, Extended Life Baits. You guys have seen many of the videos I've done on Bill and Paul Williams' uh, product here. They're, they're soft plastics. And, um, you know, you go to Florida, you never know who you're going to run into. <laughs> but as it turned out, you know, Bill and I have, you know, talked to each other on the phone and, um, you know, emailed. And, you know, I got to know him by doing a video on his hair jigs. And then he, him and Paul started the, uh, you know, the Extended Life Baits um, products of soft baits. And we'd actually never, I mean, we, we, we did meet briefly back in the day when... Um, my old bass club, Bergen Bassmasters, had a tournament on the Mohawk River, and Bill was there. I can remember seeing him at the end of the tournament and him giving us a few jigs and everything. And our club always, you know, a lot of guys in our club used his hair jigs, and they're just, they're, they're my favorite hair jig, as you guys have seen the video. And um, now this is the, the new endeavor is the Extended Life Baits. And I've shown you guys a lot of the, the you know, the different baits and how to rig them. And so, of course, you know, when you when you hang out with a bait maker, he gives you some more baits to <laughs> to show off. So, let me show you these before I I put them in the other boxes of baits I have from him to use this year. Uh, let's see what do we got here. Uh, first off, and I actually rigged a couple of these up. Uh, Bill gave me a bag of his Alpha Craw. So for you guys who like uh, flipping and pitching craws, uh, I don't know if that's a color on there. Not that it really matters to you guys, but. I'll show the, tell you this, and look what Bill is nice enough to do. Northeast bass fishing. There you go. Thanks for the promotion, buddy. <laughs> but here's just, you know, your typical flip and crawl. Or if you want to use it as a jig trailer, you could. Um, I would use it more as a flip and crawl, you know, a four-inch crawl. I don't think he's got the color on here. Not that that really matters that much to you guys. To me, it looks more like a black and blue. It looks like a black-blue flake. I don't see it. It might be a little... Might be a little other couple flakes in there, but the general idea of black. And this bait will not come off this hook. This will bait will not come off this hook. Even if this hook, this bait moves up here, it will not come over that barb. Because for, for you guys, if you're new to my channel, you've never seen me do a video before on extended life baits. This is your, you know, your soft plastic craw, but it has a material that goes through the center of the bait. That once your hook goes through, it is not coming out and you get the name extended life bait so you can throw this craw you know maybe until all these 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 uh, claws are ripped off but it's not going to come off the hook it is not going to come off the hook and you can feel it I'll, I'll rig one up and i'll show you this is a four uh gamagatsu ewg red hook and how it you'll, you'll feel it pop through that material and you know that it's secure on your on your hook it's not it's not going to come off you can fish this in heavy cover all day, flipping weeds, and uh, you are not going to lose that bait. The fish may destroy it eventually. They may rip off these cl claws. That is not going to come off there. It's not going to come off there. Um, he also gave me a pack of the Varmint. This is their like the, like a, a beaver style bait. I think this is a black blue too. You can see Northeast bass fishing. There you go. Self promotion there, and. Um, there I have it rigged up for you guys who like flipping creature baits, which I love to do. Your typical creature bait. Um, I just rigged this normally Texas rig, and you'll feel that when you, you first put that hook through, you'll feel it pop, and then it'll pop when you get it back through there, and it is not going anywhere. It is not. It is not coming back off that hook. It is not coming back off that hook. So there you go. So that's the creature baits. We did throw in a few. Um, I'll show you guys. This is like a jig, uh, a jig trailer. So just a little, if you want something small on your jigs, just a little, and it's got a little material, some of that material right in there, and that'll keep it right on your, right on your hook. So this one, you don't really have to thread. You can just pop it right on there because it's not going to go anywhere. So little jig trailers. And really probably the most popular bait so far has been the, uh, the Apex. And these are, I believe these are all 5.2, uh, two, uh, five and a quarter inch, 5.25. And, um, that looks just, that's. I'm just going by. Some of them have color. Now, this says green pumpkin, but it looks like black to me. Maybe it is. Maybe it's a dark green pumpkin. Oh, it is green pumpkin. <laughs> In the bag, it looked like it was black. But green pumpkin. 
Now, if you guys are new and you're seeing this, you're going, what the heck is that? But I'll show you, trust me. So here's a pack of uh, green pumpkin right there. Show that to you guys. Oh, uh, let's see. I did rig up one. And this is a cool color I saw on the bag. This is uh, black firecracker. That's the, that's the one I took out. If you get a 10, if you, if you, it's a 10 pack, you got five and well, four because I rigged one up. But I'll show you guys, uh, if you guys are new to the channel, how you rig it up so that you have your wacky style hook, if that's how you want to throw it, and that is not coming off through that material. Not coming off. But uh, let me just show you these colors here quick. Uh, like I said, there's a green pumpkin. I'll show you that one more time. Good old green pumpkin. And watermelon red. You know, really, what other colors do you need? You've got a black, I've got a green pumpkin, a watermelon red. I'll show you what that looks like. So there you can see the stick bait. You can see the material that goes through there. And it's actually, I noticed on the one, it's kind of doubled up here. This is where you're gonna put your hook through. So I don't know if, maybe I missed that, that Bill always did that, but this, now that they've got it doubled up, it's really even gonna be, even be stronger. But really, it ain't, it's not going anywhere. The hook is not going anywhere. So that's a watermelon red. And this side doesn't have a color on it, but it looks like a white one in there and a couple other different. Let's see what I can see here. Oh, actually, there's a little piece of paper in there. Let's see what it says. Of course, it's all the bait. Oh, I don't think that really. I think it's just a piece of paper. Got a white one, which I like, especially for bed fishing. For sight fishing, fish are shallow. Dirty water, white is great. That's kind of like a, I don't know what if you want to call that. That's kind of a cool looking natural color. I like that gold flake in there. Maybe it's like a watermelon gold, something like that, but a cool natural color. But that's the bait. So um, as I said, um, finally got to to, to meet, uh, meet Bill and his wife, Liz. We kind of hung out, we had lunch, we had some ice cream, walked around the store. Um, he also threw in another bait, which is new. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna, um, attach an article to this video that you guys can check out. Um, Bill went fishing um, down there. I could have gone. Darn it. <laughs> they went the same day that I had a, I had a, a river tour planned with the family. But um, they were killing them uh, on nets. Uh, fishing in the uh, saltwater, saltwater fishing. And caught 50 some odd fish on one bait. So this is like their version of the Ned, and they were throwing, I think, white ones and pink ones. So for you saltwater guys, this is uh, this is the only one I got. He threw that in there just to show how beat up it is, but that's like a 50 fish, 40 or 50 fish bait, and it's still in pretty good shape. I mean, it's all torn up and everything, but it's not coming off that jig head. But I uh, just thought I'd show you that. So, you know, down the, down the road, you guys might see some saltwater stuff. Um, and I have the, the Neds too, you know, that I've thrown in freshwater that I love. The only way I've lost them is if I've lost the whole bait in a rock. I haven't lost it by tearing off, that's for sure. But as far as the rigging goes, now if I was going to throw, if you're going to throw this craw or the creature bait, you're going to just rig it normally. I like to flip and pitch usually with a 4 out hook. I always buy these uh, every now and then when I'm in Bass Pro, I'll buy one of, the, one of the value packs. You know, your regular 4 out red uh, EWG flipping hook. And just to show you that, I mean, it's no different than rigging normally for a flipping bait. I'll just pick a side that I'm going to go through. Um, if I'm coming from this side, I'll go to the furthest side of the material. And you can see, I don't think I, how well you guys can see that, but the line that goes through, that's the material that runs through the bait that, make, that, that makes it last and stay on your hook. And I just run along that material, and then, I don't know if you guys could be able to hear this, but I'm going to try. See if I can get it close enough to the... I don't know if you can hear that, but that just popped through the material. And then I'm just going to run it up like I normally do until I totally made that crooked. And then when I come back through the bait, I'll just line up in the middle of the creature bait. And I don't know if you guys can hear that. Let's see. Yeah, I couldn't hear it that time. I couldn't even hear it here. But you're going through, back up through that material, and your hook is not coming off. That's going to be secure on your hook all day. 
the fish may rip rip off some of these these these, these little appendages here it may rip off a, 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 a claw on you or a, a flapper whatever you want to call it they may rip those off um, but the, it is not going to come off your it's not going to come off your hook now if you guys say mark what am i going to do if i what if i want to change baits don't worry it's not gonna it's not it's not you're not stuck forever what i do is i just kind of go the opposite way like usually you would pop this back through and come through i just i'll just pop it off the top of that and go this way because i can get the line tie back through usually if i want to change baits so it's not like not like you're stuck with it for the whole season <laughs> if you want to change colors or something you can but that's that um the flipping baits the same with this one it's the same way just a regular um Texas rig is fine. If you want to use one of those screw-on hooks, they work well too. Um, I haven't found any issue with using, you know, rigging it this way. I haven't found any problem with that. Um, now, probably like I said, the most popular is the wacky style of the apex worm. And that's just, that's one that I trim down, put my 2 um wacky hook with one of these, uh, these VMC wacky hooks, which I like to use. And I can go through wacky stylus all day and it's not going to tear off. Now, when you get the pack, you're going to get, if it's a, ten, it's a 10 pack, you'll get five and five like this. How do you prep your baits? Now, really, if you're going to go out fishing for the day, I would just, the night before, I might just um, get them prepped how I want to use them. And, uh, be ready to go now if you're gonna I'll just show you one quick here now yeah I'll just show you so if I'm gonna I'm gonna use this bait up here I'm just gonna cut along and a pair of scissors that um, you know Bill turned me on to are these uh, if you guys can see these these Fiskers now you can use any scissor you want these work particularly well they're very sharp um, I think it's more something people use like for arts and crafts things like that but you can get them at Walmart I think they're like 10 or 11 bucks just leave them on the boat. Um, you can use, I've had scissors like these <laughs> in the boat and have cut, trimmed down his baits and they're fine too. Uh, whatever ones you like. But if you, if you're, if you happen to be in Walmart or some, or a, you know, an arts and crafts type store, these Fiskers, if you guys can hope you can see the name there, get the orange on there. You can they work very well. They work very well for trimming this material. But if I'm going to use, if I'm going to, use this and I want to have that material there I'm just going to go right next to that other one next to it just trim right along there I hope you guys can see this I'll try and do it as best I can up for the camera right along that other bait and if I mess up and there's a little extra I can always trim it down Whoop. almost there there so now I've got my stick bait and I've got that long it's almost like it I always say it's almost like a fin so it's almost kind of making it look somewhat natural, like it's got it's got a fin that's swimming through the water. Um, but right in that middle part, um, now I don't know if they always did that. I'd have to ask Bill, where it's kind of doubled up there, which is a good idea. Then, you ha then it's even stronger. But you can, I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's kind of doubled up right there. So they, did, they doubled it up and even made the mesh stronger there uh, for your wacky hook. And then I'll just kind of, if you guys can see on the bait, there's like that smooth, that egg sac area. And I kind of just make that my area where I'm going to, you know, where I want my hook to go. So I'm gonna just go up this side of the bait now, trim off the rest of that material that I don't really need. And you can leave as much on there as you want. You can experiment. But I kind of just go up to where that egg sac, that smooth area is. And you can see where it's doubled there in that one spot. And then I'm gonna go from the other direction and get up to that Get up to that uh, egg sac area. Oop. And if you want, if there's a little bit on there, if you really want to get it off, you can, every now and then I'll, I'll leave it. Sometimes I'll trim it down a little. I don't think it makes any difference. I don't think it's anything that's going to make a fish go. If there's a little bit of material on there like that, I don't think a fish is going to not want it. But now I've got my stick worm and I've got that little bit of material there you can even make it small if you want I just leave it the length to start of the uh, exact it's up to you 
If you want a smaller one, we could do it. I don't think it's gonna be anything that's going to, uh, you know, cost you bites. And then you take, now I did the other one with that, one of those two lots. I'll even go, this is a, this is a one knot. I'll use that one. Let's just use a different hook, a smaller one. If you guys like one that's a little smaller. And then you just, you've got that material. You don't have to go through the bait so that when you catch a fish, the bait isn't flying off after you catch one fish or the bait is tearing in half. You're not going through the bait right now. I'm going through the material and I'll just go right through the center of it. And you'll feel that, you'll feel that, uh, that hook, you'll feel it pop through and you're ready to go wacky fishing. And they've even made the baits even softer than when they started. But you can see, you can see kind of there, it's kind of split. It's kind of doubled up. So now it's even stronger. And if you only want to have a single uh, so-called uh, mesh area to go through, you could do it. It's very strong. Um, and if, you know, after how many other fish you catch, if, you start, if it starts to get a little worn there, you could just do, go to a different spot on the material. But that's as simple as it gets, guys. That's as simple as it gets. That's the extended life baits, Apex 5.25 inch worm there. I like that color. What's that called again? Black firecracker, that's nice. I like that with a different flake in there, looks cool. But that's it, if you were gonna go out and fish, you got your bag of bait, you got your bag of baits, you could, you could prep three or four of them, and I think you'd probably be good for the whole day. <laughs> if you know you're gonna throw a wacky worm all day. But that's it, that's it. That nice action, that nice wacky worm action in the water, you know, when you throw it. That's a cool color. That's a cool color. That's it, guys. Um, uh, I, I encourage you, to, if you're, if, like I said, if you're new to my channel, and you've never heard me talk about Extended Life Baits before, I encourage you to check back and uh, just go to my channel and just search Extended Life Baits, and you'll see the many videos I've done so far and the other rigging videos and some of the other baits that, I ha that, that, uh, that Bill is making and Paul are making. Some of the drop shot baits are really nice. The Neds are really nice. I've probably used the Ned the most so far, and um, it's great, it's great. As I said, I've only lost the bait. And you know how fish, when you're, when you, especially if you're like uh, sight fishing, or you know, early in the season, fish are on beds, or they're just shallow, getting ready to spawn, they just crush a Ned. And um, the only way I have lost one is <laughs> by, by losing the whole thing in a rock. I have not lost it by a fish to being able to destroy it because it's once it gets on that hook, you know, this is just a small jig head they were throwing in the ocean and <laughs> this is not coming off. This is not coming off. So uh, it's great. It's really a great idea. It's really a great idea. So um, so I will um, put the, um, there's an article I'd like you guys to check out of them fishing with the Neds, the extended life Neds down at the down, uh, saltwater fishing down in Florida, killing them on one bait all day and um i don't mean one bait one color i mean one bait period and uh i wish i was there to witness it myself but uh they've got all the uh, all the photos and everything on the article and it's really cool to read and i'll even put the uh the other article that uh, was done on some of the uh, the freshwater baits the apex worm and the other baits um it's one i had added to a previous video but i'll add it again you guys can check it out uh, that the sports writer did on the extended life baits and uh, I'll put Bill's email address on there if you're interested you could check it out he's in Florida for the rest of the month and he's coming back um, I guess probably that first uh, at, uh, April 1st and um, so he'll be back in New York soon too so uh, that's it guys I just thought I'd show you these again I know you've seen me do a few videos on the extended life baits I just think it's a great idea especially if you guys like to throw a wacky worm and um, you know you're you're you get frustrated when your baits go flying off after you catch a fish. Um, give them a try. Give them a try. They're great colors, um, and it's really a cool idea. It's really a cool idea. You can throw creature baits, jig trailers. You're starting to make. Whoops. There, there it is. Little, 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 little tiny jig trailer. It's not going to come off so easy. And I mean, everybody throws a stick worm, so there you go. And you can flip these too. I've actually done more flipping with them than <laughs> than I have wacky worming. But it's a great idea. It's a great idea. So check it out. So I'll put uh, Bill's uh, email address. You can get a hold of him and Paul, and you guys can 
if you want to try some of the baits out, you can try them out. And uh, and that's it. And I'll put that. Like I said, I'll put those articles in there too, uh, that you guys can uh, can check out. It's pretty interesting stuff. And uh, see how they did the, on those. Uh, I forget what they were catching. Now it's now I'm drawing a blank. Sea trout maybe. I forget what they caught. A hundred of them. <laughs> I think they used two baits all day. But um, the article the article room will, will give you all the info that I'm, that I'm forgetting at this point. All right. Uh, so that's it. So any questions, let me know. Once again, here's the packet packaging. Extended Life Baits. It's uh, Bill Alexander, Paul Williams. Located in New York. All right, nothing I'll read on the back there. And you can see it's got uh, my Northeast Bass Fishing uh, logo on there, or info on there. Uh, watermelon red, the color, and the different baits. And you can kind of see the baits they have listed on the bottom are the Apex, the Predator, the Icicle. Those are some drop shot baits, the Ned and the Cross. So there you go. A little bit of everything on there is in the packaging. So you guys can check that out. So extended life baits. And I'll put the Bill's email address on there for you, okay? So any questions, let me know. Um, you know, if there's anything you guys missed when I did the rigging, let me know. I'll show it to you. Um, I think with this video and the other videos I've done, I've you guys can figure out the rigging. Once you do it once or twice, it's a piece of cake. It's a piece of cake. It's very simple. Um, and even if you if you don't like the idea of putting the, through the mesh, you could go take your hook and put it through the bait. And it's like, and that hook ain't coming out. <laughs> it ain't coming out. If you'd rather just put your hook like the old fashioned way and put it right through the bait, your wacky hook, it is not coming out. You'll feel it pop through that, um, <clears throat> that material and that bait will stay on all day. If you guys are, you know, purists and want to keep doing it that way, but you know what? Give it a shot like this. Give it a shot like this. See how you like it. See how you like it. It's, it's so simple. It's, it's, I can't believe nobody thought of this idea before. <laughs> it's such a great idea, you know, to have some kind of something through the bait that makes it stronger so it doesn't come flying off your hook. Because um, you guys know you, get, you catch a ton of fish, you know, throwing a wacky worm. All right, so like I said, I'll put all the info in the description. You guys can check it all out, all right? So I'll see you guys soon on YouTube. Mark out.